fiddler, there is so much at risk, and it all somehow miraculously seems to work with her. There's the sound, of course. There's a, it's a very unique sound, like all great fiddlers. It's an instantly identifiable sound, but it has marvelous focus and penetration. There's the extraordinary technical ease. Um, she seems to know no technical difficulties. And there's that extraordinary ability to get to the heart of the music. On the platform, you really don't think in terms of anything but the music. At least I don't. And you are, even then, very isolated from everything and from everybody. You don't think in terms of audiences. You don't think in terms of, of uh, critics. You don't think in terms of anything but to do justice to what you are trying to say in the music. So it is a kind of uh, a separation from everybody. there on that stage and we've got to be perfect as far as humanly possible every single time but I try to make myself not think in those terms I try to think only in terms of the music making and the fact that I'm playing with a wonderful orchestra a wonderful conductor and to derive pleasure from that point of view but I would certainly never call it having fun as I uh, got older, I was lucky to play with great, great conductors. One of the first uh, was Rafael Kubrick. I was so enchanted by his music making. He opened my eyes to many, many things which escaped me. She's an extraordinary woman. She's a, uh, not only a great artist, but I always felt that she wants to get into the core of things and the musical real understanding of composers, not only just to be a virtuoso. I've been asked how I feel about my early recordings. Well, I have to say that I don't often listen to them. I don't listen to my recordings, period, if I can avoid it, because they are never really satisfactory. You always think, oh my God, if only I had done that, if only I could improve upon that. Also, I'm trying not to record and repeat the same phrases again and again because it becomes so stale. So I'm trying to do everything in one take. When I do listen to them sometimes, and I did a lot of the virtuoso acrobatics in those days, I have to say that they're not too bad. that maybe in my previous lives, 
at one time I might have been Spanish because I really do identify with the country and with the music so very, very much. The basic rhythm of, this, of Spanish music appeals to me personally tremendously. The Sinfonia Espanol by Lalo is so totally Spanish in its idiom, even though it was not composed by a Spaniard. I think that a, really a great genius. Once he sets out to write, to compose something of a specific country, usually he finds the language. Well, I always thought that my obligation first and foremost was to the composer. I always uh, tried to express what I thought in, uh, in my own humble opinion the composer wanted. 